Hello Penguinauts and newcomers to the channel. I am the Beta Penguin and this is my module for the Collaboration Station. Massive thank you to Matt Loud and Marcus House for inviting me to take part. It's a massive honour. You know, I actually had quite a lot of trouble deciding what to put on the station. You see in the brief, it said simply put something on the station that reflects the sort of content you put on your channel. Alright. Slight problem, the kind of content I put on my channel is turning Kerbal Space Program to a turn-based war game. Um, I build more battleships than spaceships, so what can I possibly put on the station? Well, it was at this point that I learned that Danny is going to be taking part in this project in some form or another. This station needs some kind of defense system, so I present to you, ladies and gentlemen, the Space Fire! Open the fairing! Open the fairing! Okay, just, just give me a second. It'll open and I, I didn't time this very well. I probably should have marked out. There we go! Okay, the fairy has opened. The Space Fire! Piloted by, of course, the ace, Beardy Kerman. He shall defend the collaboration station until his dying breath or until he realizes that prop engines don't work in space. You know, whichever comes first, to be honest. But let's not focus on that. You see, I also had a bit of another problem. You see... I'm having to compete with Mark Thrym, Matt Lau, all these people who build hyper-efficient SSTOs for a living. You've also got all the cost-effective builds such as Marcus and Tape Gaming building all their reusable rockets. I can't compete with that. I, I just cannot even attempt to go for the most efficient or most cost-effective way to get something to the station award. So I decided to go for the complete opposite end of the spectrum. I'm going for the most inefficient, fastest and most ridiculous way to get to the station in existence. Which is why, as you can see, who needs to go into orbit? I'm not going into orbit. I'm going straight to the moon, straight to the station. I'm not even getting into orbit around the moon. I'm going literally straight from Kerbin, right up to the station and then slowing down. Which is why my rocket is ridiculously overbuilt and looks absolutely ridiculous. I threw together this rocket in about 30 seconds. I think, I think, you know, it's Kerbal Space Program. So if I'm going to show my channel to the world, I think I should be doing things the most Kerbal way possible. So I just threw together a massive rocket, just bolted on a billion boosters, and here we are going straight to the station. You see, we've got our intercept, and we've got an intercept uh, velocity of about a kilometer per second, but that doesn't bother us. So here we are just planning our maneuver to get an intercept with the station, and there we go. Oh, okay, I massively overbuilt that little transfer stage there. I put about five of those vector engines onto it, so as you can see, it's more than a little bit too powerful, but as I said, if you're gonna do something, you might as well do it properly, or in this case, as far from properly as you can possibly make it. Just using the RCS to tweak uh, intercept a little bit, here we go, okay, we're heading in at a ridiculous speed, because as I said, you know, gotta go fast, you gotta get there first, this is the whole point, you know, I'm just going for the fastest intercept velocity award, if we're doing awards, I don't think we're actually doing awards, are we? Anyway, whatever, let's ignite these massive engines, only on about a third thrust, or about a half thrust to try and uh, slow ourselves down, I was actually a little worried I wouldn't have enough fuel to do this, because this is such a ridiculously inefficient way to get to the moon, thankfully though, I overbuilt this rocket just enough that we can just about get into orbit, and get our transfer, and our intercept with the station and there it is in all its glory thankfully someone decided to put some lights on it so even though it's nighttime we can actually see what we're doing to an extent okay so now we're here what we're going to do is decouple out of transfer stage and of course we can't have any space debris knocking about so let's deorbit it into the moon full thrust fire oh my god look at <laughs> Look how just ridiculously overpowered that stage was. Oh, well, what can I say? Uh, anyway, to this point I realise I only put two RCS thrusters on this plane. So we can't actually move laterally. We can move up and down, we can move forward and back, but we have no ability to translate left and right. So this docking is going to be a little bit complicated. So as you see, trying to come here at a pretty strange angle. Uh, I know this space fire doesn't look that much like an actual World War II plane or whatever. You know, the ones I build in my Fall of Kerbid series are look much, much better, but in that series we have procedural wings and all kinds of lovely mods that I can use in Collaboration Station, this is all stock, so I did the best I could, okay? I know the propellers are solar panels, but just just bear with, okay? I promise. I promise this will do its utmost to defend the station until its dying breath. And here we go, just 
kind of struggling to dock as you can see the inability to move left and right is a pretty big problem as you can tell I built this in the space plane hangar so I didn't have radial symmetry enabled so I didn't put four RCS thrusters onto it so I'm really struggling just sort of moving in moving out okay looking at it from one angle it looks like it's good but then you look at it from another angle and you realize you're slightly moving too far back or you're moving too far to the side or whatever but slowly but surely we bring ourselves in and there we are Unfortunately, we're slightly skew if and this is really annoying me because I have a slight level of OCD So we need to undock the spacefarer again Just slightly realign it so it's nice and lined up with the station There we are and bring ourselves in for our final docking maneuver and there you have it The collaboration station has now got a mighty defense system to hopefully defend it from anything Danny can throw at it Thank you very much for watching everyone on to Scott Manley